feather and it's Wednesday. Surprise! I'm Eric today. No, Eric is taking a sabbatical for a while and had requested someone to take his place, so here is feather on Wednesdays, which I'm going to have to build into my daily life, uh, or daily Wednesday, I should say. Mercury retrograde's got me kind of a flutter this couple of weeks. The reversal candle is not working well. The question was uh, the importance of daily practice and what each of you do in that vein. And do people have rituals they do in the morning when they get up before going to bed centered around the kitchen? Hmm, rituals. Ritual is a word I use for big things, like an in, a big intention. And Dancing Rabbit got me to thinking, he says, Cindy, you have rituals all the time. Little things you do the same every day. And I thought, oh, well, those are practices. But anyway, the first thing I do in the morning, I have an altar in my bedroom. And I want to read this to you because I think it's beautiful. And in my path, it has given me just a lot of pleasure in thanking the Earth. Earth Mother, Star Mother, you who are called by a thousand names, may all remember we are, we are cells in your body and dance together. You are the grain and the loaf that sustains us each day. And as you are patient with our struggles to learn, so shall we be patient with ourselves and each other. We are radiant light and the freedom beyond fear. Within you we are born. We grow, live, and die. You bring us around the circle to rebirth. Within us you dance forever. Star Hawk. I read this every morning. I probably could have quoted it from my head, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't flub up. Uh, this gives me, it's my worship, it's my ritual. I give thanks every day, and I, I light a candle every morning, and I burn incense to, just, that's my ritual. As far as, I guess that's a daily practice. There's so many things in mundane life that my mother taught me to do to make things go along smoother, and I guess those are rituals. That, the way I uh, clean my kitchen, I go clockwise around the room. I never go witter shins or docile. Uh, just, I take pleasure in feeding my animals and caring for my plants. I, I chant a lot during the day. I always have a candle burning 24-7 in my house. Uh, it's just something I grew up with and I do. Uh, it gives me pleasure and it makes me connected to my gods and goddesses that I thank every day. I probably come from a different path in the last 20 years because of when I almost died. I had a brain aneurysm and I came back and I was always asking questions of why, why did I get to live in so many that had that condition before me not? And I figured out it was to just keep meeting Dancing Rabbit was one of them, but just renewing my faith in the earth, that I was just a fortunate person and I needed to pay attention more and take care of the earth and her living beating body. I Kitchen rituals are just kind of... I don't think I have a kitchen ritual. Mike says I do. Rabbit Man says I do when I... certain certain ways I do stir and the order I do things in. But I don't consider those rituals so... I have a main ritual on the Sabbaths, of course, and the rest of it is just mundane life, and I just try to make it better and happier and not so boring. Music is a big part of my uh, practice because it makes my daily 
life better. And working with my plants, working with my stones, I, try, I work on my stones every day because it's a big job. And I guess that's all I have to say. It, the most important thing is my star hawk uh, getting up in the morning and reading Earth Mother, Star Mother, and then I do take deep cleansing breaths, and then I light a candle, which is not uh, prepared or has an intention. It's just I light a candle. That's my ritual, and rose incense. So I hope this has uh, helped some. I will be more. I will be seeing you every week until. Uh, Eric says he's ready to come back from sabbatical. So I wish him peace and love, and I hope he, he has the rest he needs. And uh, I might get fancy like Mirth and Reverence and really do a, a visual video instead of just a talking one. But that's me. I'm a talker. I'm a Gemini. So... It's Wednesday. We'll get this up. It's still Wednesday. <laughs> we'll get this up, and I'll try and do them earlier next week. So, peace and love. Bye-bye.